AI Work Item Assistant in Azure DevOps. So in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of a new add-on that Microsoft released for Azure DevOps. It's called AI Work Item Assistant. So as the name suggests, use AI in Azure DevOps, so it will help you generate item of all type of work item types. You can use it within user stories, features to refine them using AI again, fine tuning your title, fine tuning your description. You can generate child items from your work item types. And you even have an AI insights that will give you some summary of the discussions, list some actions, highlight some of the decisions that are being made and so forth. And this video is just an extract of an end-to-end -end video tutorial that I created on Azure DevOps boards and how to create and manage requirements. So if you want to learn additional areas of Azure DevOps boards, take a look at the link in the description to access that full end-to-end -end video. Now let's get started with this one. Okay, so the next feature I'm going to show you is a little bit more experimental. Is a new add-on that Microsoft just released a few months ago, actually weeks ago to be fair, by the time I'm recording this video. So it's new, uh, there's a few uh, glitches here and there, but it's very promising, right? It's the AI Assistant uh, in Azure DevOps. So let me walk you through how to install it and how to start taking advantage of it. So if you're back in DevOps, what you'll find is you will have to install the add-on in the organization settings, right? So if you go to organization settings, you will be able to install add-ons so or extensions. I have a lot of extensions installed already, and I'll walk you through some of these settings a little bit later in this video. But um, the one you will have to install is the AI Work Item Assist, right? So you can browse Marketplace, and then you can install it from there. Once you install the AI Work Item Assistant, you will have to configure it, right? So, and you have to configure for every single project that you have. So back to my scholarship management training project, if you go to project settings, you will now see an extension for the AI Work Item Assistant, and then you will have to configure your Azure OpenAI settings, so endpoints, API key, and so forth. So to configure this add-on, you'll have to get access to your Azure environment or work with an administrator that can help you setting that up. So you set up Azure OpenAI, you can set up Azure AI document intelligence if you want to upload documents or use documents as context. So for example, once you set that in, you can start using documents like business process flow, requirements, document, personas, whatever documents that you have, you can use them and upload them to your uh, project settings. And when work item will be generated by AI, the AI will have access to this context and will be more precise when generating output, right? So pretty interesting. You have a settings to set up your work item type. So which work item types will benefit from this AI assistant? It's pretty extensive, like you can see, for the feature, we can have an AI work item generator. We can refine the feature with AI. We can generate child items using AI, what kind of child items. And for each one of these, you can specify the type of fields. If I go to the description fields for the feature, I can specify how I want that field to be formatted, what kind of information it should have, what kind of information it shouldn't have. So it has a lot, and I haven't gone through all the settings at this time yet. So I'll just walk you through the basic of how I understand this too. Um, at any point in time, you have access to a very extensive documentation. So uh, you have your installation steps. So if you click on one of the um, URL as part of this, this tool, uh, you will have access to the installation step. It's very extensive, very well detailed. So great work by the team at Microsoft. Um, and it will give you like, for example, how to configure the work item type settings, right? So it opens another page and then it loads, you know, every single setting that you can configure, right? So very, very extensive tool and very nicely documented as, as we said. So once you have configured it, you can start using it, right? So one thing that I started playing with is, for example, if you go back to your project, go back to your board, and then you will see an AI work item generator, right? So what you can do here is it generates work items based on a big prompt, right? So and it's supposed to use your project in the context. I haven't really tested that out fully yet, 
Um, I also noticed that sometimes when I use this, this tool here, I, I get an, an error message, a random error message. So this tool is still experimental. This still is pretty new, right? So use it with caution, but it has a lot, a lot of potential, right? So let me quickly show you how that might work here. So I'll just upload some documentation about the scholarship management system that I want to have. So the project name, you know, the business processes, uh, the project description context, you know, personas, whatever I have. You can also attach file. If I would have an attachment or a requirement document, I can attach it here and then ask AI to the work item assistant to generate items, can generate epics, feature user story. You can configure that, but I'll ask it to configure to generate the epics or so generate idea. And this is where it takes a little bit of time to process all this information and <laughs> randomly of course, we got the error message. Let me try to regenerate again. It really happens randomly. I contacted actually Microsoft about that issue because sometimes it just generate them, sometimes not. And then he, if I regenerated, I finally got my results. So it's still a little bit, as we said, experimental, right? But the nice thing, it generates for you a list of epics and they look pretty, pretty on the spot. There's a lot of them though, right? So what I will do is I'll just tweak that a little bit and I will say, so I've added a bit more context here, generate 10 epics, and then I wanna make sure that the title starts with something, let's see. And there we go, right, pretty spot on, like 10 epics, nicely formatted. And then, so the other thing is all these epics are ideas and they haven't been created yet. So if I open the this one, automated uh, eligibility check, so if I just open that one, it will uh, show me a draft epic. Uh, as we said, the record is not created yet. It pre-populates the content with the description that it generated from, you know, the content I uploaded and so forth. So pretty interesting, right? And then I can save and that will create my epic. Now, of course, when you have your items, so for example, the next one is if I go to this epic and let's say I don't have a description, but I have a few feature, right? So you can, if I go down, AI work item editor, and you can select the field you wanna edit or kind of improve. And you can add additional fields if you need to in the config, but I will improve the description. I will say refinable child work item. I wanted to use the child feature. So yeah, I'm gonna use the, the feature to create the description. Let's see what it does and it will create for me, it will generate for me some ideas. There we go, it came up with an idea for the description. I'll just say apply changes and then it copied for me the description here. I'll just save that one. Next one I wanna show you is the AI child item generator. So if I click on this one, the nice thing is it picks already the existing children's, right? So it knows the children, so it knows the other feature and it proposes some additional uh, ideas for, you know, features. I'm not sure about these ones here, to be fair, but you can also ask a random a custom idea, right? So let's say AI validation before submission. Let's try to generate uh, and it proposing one feature AI validation before submission. So based on the title, based on the other information, the other feature, based on information in the epic, it kind of propose for you an additional feature, right? So pretty interesting, this one. What you also have for each work item type that you configure, you have, and I haven't really tested that out fully yet, you have an AI work item inside. You can summarize the discussions. You can list the action points. You can highlight decisions, analyze what item progress. So, so to fully test this, I'll have to use this tool for a little bit longer where I have a lot of more comments and I have a few stories that progress through, you know, the work to really see how this works. But again, pretty interesting to see how, um, you know, you can use AI to help you in, in Azure DevOps. Voila, I hope that you liked this video. And if that's the case, subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more videos about Azure DevOps, exploring all these areas, and I'm really hoping to see you in the next one.